Here's this Maytag 10,000 BTU air conditioner that I picked up from the scrapyard today. My buddy down there just gave it to me. And uh, I opened it up already because everything inside was completely cockeyed and kind of bent and I fixed that. But it's seen a lot better days. I think this thing's just about had it. Look at that coil. Just look at it. Take it all in. Just take it all in. But then this down here, it's a shame that evaporator was bent to hell when I got it. It's still pretty bad. I couldn't get it all the way all the way out. But damn. I'm gonna see if I can fix this thing, because 10,000 BTU, that'd be pretty nice. But worst comes to worst, I'll just recover it. Strip it down and send it back. He said he'd pay me for it, so. My EPA 608 certification finally, so I can use the recovery machine that's been sitting in the garage forever. Yeah, but that's that's her. It's got about a pound of R22 in it though, so cover that. It's still good. The compressor's not seized or burnt out, so it's not garbage refrigerant. But whatever. Let's see if uh, I get another take of it after I clean it up. Well now it's clean, well as clean as I could get it, but, uh, I just noticed this thing must have been dropped hard, the whole condenser coil, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, it's just kind of slanted to the left a little bit, so it was just dropped on a corner hard, oh well, poor thing, I'll see if I can use it as a garage or something, but I mean, it does cool, not well, but it does cool, evaporator's clean now, I've never seen that much dirt build up in an evaporator either, where it was unhappy before, now I just think it's kind of wet and unhappy, didn't get the controls wet though, so I think I'd be happy about that, I can't put that back in, because it rubs too much, so it's not going to have proper heat injection. It'll wear on the compressor pretty bad, but uh, I'll see what I can do with it. Like I said, poor thing. It wasn't even that old. It's got digital controls and everything. Didn't really get much of a chance at life at all. Well, I'm going to keep working on it. Well, here she is. I just hit her with about... <laughs> Well, I just hit it with like a ton of car wash because I noticed there was some green shit stuck to the bottom of that coil. So I hit it with a ton of car wash, rinsed the hell out of it so there's no more foam left in it. Excuse the car stereo, by the way. And uh, took the control box out so I could quite literally rinse out the whole thing. But uh, I think the lesson we can all learn here is, is clean your air conditioners because this is one of the worst ones I've seen because uh, even the first part that you saw when it was all covered in dust, that was after me scrubbing it a bit with a just a dry brush before a lot came off. In fact, there's there's a whole ton of it right there that I just scratched off with a dry brush. There's some more over there. But the lesson here is uh, clean your air conditioners. You don't have to know. Like even every, if you don't do it every year, do it every two years. Because I'm not going to say I'm the stellar air conditioner owner that cleans his air conditioner every year because there have been some years that I've missed. But uh, I get people, and I'm not I'm not being mean here, but I work out at a uh, at a restaurant right now along with service and units. I get mostly girls. I'm not being mean, but mostly girls bring window units to me. And they're like, well, this thing's not cool, and can you help me out here? And the first thing I do, and most of the time that fixes it outright, is pop the thing open and clean it. Because it's just, it, they get so much shit caught up in them, and they just don't cool at all. If there was ever a unit to feel sorry for, it's this one. Because, honestly, it just, it's not that old. It's, I looked at it, Dana, it's a 2005. I mean, it's seven years old, but that's not old compared to the 
nearly all of them that I have. I have some that are 20, 30 years old. But uh, it smelled, I opened it up and it smelled like it was used in like a commercial property, like a pizza shop almost, because it had like that, that kind of like baking smell to it. It was probably an in-wall unit that never got pulled out to clean. And it just got dumped off, smashed real hard on the ground just because it needed a good cleaning. And I tested it out already, plugged the control box in just for a few seconds, and uh, it even sounds better after I clean it. Because there's more airflow going through the coils to cool them down. And uh, the thing is, is you're going to say, oh, well, I don't know what's in an air conditioner. I don't know how to clean it. When you clean your car, do you know exactly every part that's in your car? No. You don't have to know exactly what's in an air conditioner to clean an air conditioner. It's about six screws. Pop the outside cover off and just hose it out. You don't have to use soap. Just use common sense. Don't get your controls all soaking wet. And if you do, let them dry out. Don't chop anything, obviously, or jar it around too much. But it's not hard to clean an air conditioner. You don't have to know what's in it. Anybody can really do it. And I'm sure I'm going to get some people that disagree with me. But, hey, I can't agree on everything. But there she is. I'm going to get her all put back together now. Dry it out. And hopefully we'll have a good running 10,000 BTU air conditioner for free. Well, here she is all cleaned and finished. Cool's just fine now. It was just so dirty that it was just killing it. You'll notice a few things are missing. There actually is good airflow through that condenser without the, uh, without the guard on it. You'll notice that a few things are missing because they were just bent out of shape. One is that baffle, which you can't see. And another thing is the little plate that protects the coils from vandals, and the elements and stuff, that's gone. That just never came with it. And uh, just get rid of that last little piece. It is exactly what I thought it is. It's a rebadged fetters. I was looking at it, that front looks awful like awful lot like a lot of fetters units I've seen. But there it is, happy, sitting on top of the eco lap bucket. Side curtains still need to be cleaned out a bit, but it'll all come in time. <laughs>